Hey guys, it's Ben here, and now that Mohamed Salah is officially a Liverpool player, the attention switches to Naby Keita and Virgil van Dijk. So Mohamed Salah is a red, it is finally announced, it is confirmed, he is a red's new number 11, and here is how I reacted live to the news on Instagram Live. Mohamed Salah has been announced by Liverpool, here we go. The video is live. Mohamed Salah has been announced as a Liverpool player, number 11, finally. God, I've been waiting a long time for this. Salah had no one. There it is. There it is. Mohamed Salah through the door at long last. What a relief. Let's see what the next tweet's going to be. I mean, that is a, quite a nice way to announce it. A nice little video. Here he is in the pictures of... The fourth say, get in. So the former Chelsea man is through the door, but what about Naby Keita? A piece by Joe Rimmett in the Echo this morning says that Liverpool do face a battle to sign the Red Bull Leipzig midfielder. Klopp sees him as a key target, but it will cost us over 50 million if we're going to land him. And the fact that Leipzig are in the Champions League, of course, won't help. Their CEO, Oliver Mintzlaff, says that it would be negligent if they were to sell one of their best players just after qualifying for the elite competition in Europe. So it's going to be far from easy for Jurgen Klopp to lure him to Anfield. In terms of alternatives, there's Alex oxlade chain of Arsenal, of course, and the Echo have said that he's not one of Liverpool's prime targets and they wouldn't pay over 20 million for him. There have also been reports that Liverpool are in for Sergei Milinkovic Savic of Lazio. I think a lot of us have already bought into the idea of Naby Keita. He's a box to box midfielder, gets a lot of goals, he's quick, he's mobile, he's young. I do get the feeling that we will just pay whatever it takes to get him, and I hope we do. Now, in terms of the Virgil van Dijk situation, John Aldridge has hardly helped Liverpool by saying today that if van Dijk wanted to force a move, he could, and that he doesn't think that the story is dead in the water. He says players and their agents hold all the power these days and if he says he won't kick another ball for Southampton and demands a move, it will happen. Just don't say that John, just don't do it. What, who's it helping? Why do you do that? You're employed by the club. Just leave it, let it sit for a while, let it calm down, let's just take a breather from this, let's get the relationship all ironed out. We still need to submit our side of the story to the Premier League and just to determine whether they're going to have an investigation. Let's just get all out of the way and then we can move for him. This is not going to help our stance. The Saints are annoyed as it is with Liverpool. They don't need club legends like you who are employed by the Reds to come out and stir up some crap. Now I'm still really hopeful of this one. There haven't really been any links to any other centre-backs as of late. So hopefully the Reds can get this one sorted. And as far as the left-back situation is concerned, Alberto Moreno has been the subject of an £11 million bid from Napoli. Liverpool have rejected that offer. They're holding up for £15 million. As I said yesterday, both Milan clubs are still interested. Even Atletico Madrid wants them on loan in January, but we said no. And speaking of Napoli, Di Marzio from Italy says that we've made a move for their left-back, Fauzi Gulam. Gianluca Di Marzio says it could be a part exchange deal. He's 26, Gulam. His profile seems OK. He's an Algeria international. Apparently West Brom made an approach. That's according to reports in Italy. But we'll see. Some of the reliable Mersey like journalists again have reiterated that Benjamin Mendy is unlikely. It looks like he's going to go to Man City, so I know a lot of fans will be unhappy about that one. I maintain my stance that a high profile left back isn't necessary. I think James Milner will start the season for Liverpool. I think Jurgen Klopp really wants him in his side, but we do need some cover in there, some sufficient cover. So there we go. It's been a great day for Liverpool in terms of signing. Mohamed Salah is in. He's a new number 11. Bobby Firmino is a new number 9. And he has offered all fans that bought a Firmino 11 shirt to have that shirt signed. So fair play to him. Leave a comment with how you think Liverpool's front three will look next season. Do you think it'll be Salah on the left, Mane on the right? Do you think Coutinho might stay on the left and they might interchange between Mane and Salah and one might have to sit on the bench some weeks? What is for sure, there's going to be plenty of options in attacking positions for the Reds and it's exciting. It's exciting to have more pace in the side, more in product as well, more goals. Now it's time to try and get Cater and Van Dijk locked in. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me and follow my other socials. It's Ben Mike say on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and Facebook and I'll see you next time.